In the heart of downtown Tampa sits the Pearl at Water Street. It's a restaurant slash tavern slash oyster room featuring chef driven cuisine. We get a taste and meet the chef in this week's Great Day Dining. Tampa's Water Street is quickly becoming a culinary destination and the newest gem on the block is the Pearl, specializing in, you guessed it, oysters. Welcome to the Pearl. I'm here with executive chef Olivia Kiesler and thanks for having me in today. Of course, welcome. We're so happy to have you and just glad you could spend time with us and enjoy and get to check us out. So, yeah, so you've only been open like two weeks uh, when we're here today. So what has it been like so far in being here on Water Street? It's been so much fun. Um, no, Water Street, there's all kinds of things going on and we're building this new community with restaurants and activities going on, especially with the arena. Tell me about the concept because it's a very casual vibe you got going on here. So the concept is it's very chef driven food wise. Um, so we've got lots of fun techniques um, that show in high quality food, but it's very approachable. So we want to make sure everyone is welcome and can enjoy it, um, but just really making sure that the quality is great, it's fresh, um, it's executed well, and that anyone can come, families, friends, and you can come you know, multiple times a day if you want. That's awesome. So I loved how you said part of the concept is playful and yeah. so this this is playful right here yes. can you talk to me about this this right here so I love it as soon as I walked in I'm like what is that so it's you know it's classic it's our you know traditional deviled eggs um, but we have it on a chicken scale which is fun it has a weight on it and it's just um, you know it's one of our snacks but when you see that you're like oh what's that over there I'm like I gotta have that um, and that's what's great about it is yeah. it's you know everyone can enjoy it it's not spicy but you think about like you know home style deviled eggs and they're just like executed great and wow. you know it's fun you see that like oh I want I want to play with that that's good it's like interactive which makes it nice so. do you do anything special to it or like what's the or maybe it's a secret you can't really share it um no we have um, a little bit of mustard and mayonnaise in there some shallots um, some relish in there paprika and parsley on top um, but it's just nice separated make sure it's well seasoned and just give it you know the love that it deserves for every step so that is delicious. Yeah. That is so good. All right, so I'm going to wash it down with one of one of the drinks here. Perfect. Can we start with this? this yes. Is, this is uh, right at my alley. So this one is our house-made blueberry um, mojito. Okay. So it has a blueberry mint simple syrup that we infuse. On top of the garnish, we have a dehydrated lime wheel in there. Um, so that's nice so the mint and the blueberry gets infusion, and that's why it's got this like beautiful purple-pink color to it. So all that love that we put into the food translate and we make those steps and love and batches all for our cocktails as well. Okay, so you have some light uh, fare on the menu too. Mm -hmm. Talk about the salad. Um, this is our roasted beet salad. Um, so we have golden beets and red beets and we roast those in house, um, covered, peel them so it's just nice and fresh. Um, there's nothing better than just a fresh made beet. And then it's served with fresh avocado, Fiji apples, and we have a little um, buttermilk dressing with it, um, some cilantro sprigs, fresh eggs, and then candy cashews finished on top. So just give it a little bit of crunch to it, um, but it's really a hearty salad and has everything to it, lots of body, so there's no greens. It's all about, it's all about the beets, is what I say. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Okay, so I love this dish here. You kind of mm -hmm. touched on it earlier, so what is that? So this is our hanger steak. Um, so we marinate it in a pineapple teriyaki marinade for four to six hours. Um, so that kind of infuses it, give it some color, and then we have a kimchi fried rice. So kimchi is that aged um, or marinated cabbage. So it has a little bit of kick to it. And then we've got a kind of lime gochujang sauce with it with some butter and then finished with a fried egg and scallions on top. So of course, you can't be at the Pearl without having oysters. So is right. that kind of like your signature, the oysters? Yeah, so we have an oyster room and we can get oysters hot or cold. 
All right, so here it is. This is the seafood tower? Yes, this is our seafood tower. Okay, can you customize it or it just comes like this? Um, so this is a standard one. So we got, comes with 12 oysters, our uh, mignonette and house-made cocktail sauce. A mignonette, we use fresh grated horseradish, which is nice instead of getting prepared. Um, so you can choose your oysters. You can mix and match them. That's a base. And then we have a um, eight ounces or a pound of peel and eat shrimp, a poached lobster tail, and then colossal crab meat. But it's fun because it's a lot of flavorful and it's wow, but it's not going to, it doesn't weigh you down. Right. Which is nice. Okay. So, so you're going to eat it with me. Okay, so you went with that sauce. I love a mignonette because yes. it's all fresh and good. I like spicy. that too, but I like, I like a good old cocktail sauce. All right, you ready? Ready. Do it with me. Here we go. Cheers. Mm hmm. All right, so you also have dessert. So yes. is this one of your favorites here? Yeah, so this is our signature. It is our brown sugar pie. So we make it like an Oreo crust or an Oreo cookie for the crust. Okay. And then we have a nice filling that has free dried corn in it, of course, brown sugar, um, okay. some eggs, and we just bake it and finish with some maple candy, house made, and whipped cream. And it is a big game. It's so good. <laughs> I love it. Mm -hmm. Talk about your outside because that's a big part of the restaurant, right? Yeah, and the outside is about a third of our restaurant, but it's facing the hockey arena. Um, we're right in close to the Riverwalk area, which is great. You get the sun, but we have shade and drop downs. I will say the people watching here is great. It's this fantastic. Whole area. I love it. All right. <laughs> yes. well, thank you so much for having us in today. Thank you. It was my pleasure. I'm this so glad awesome. you got to enjoy it. Oysters, so. top notch. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> All right, you need to go check them out. For more information, you can visit their website, thepearlrestaurant.com.